Hi, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how we can fix some of the problems that come uh, with audio when we've recorded things at different volumes. So I've got my uh, project here and I've got my title sequence loaded into it and I'm just going to drag uh, a video oh, well, of the studio recording into my project. I'm going to drop it on and if I were to play the two now you should see that there's quite a significant difference in the volume level of each part. So the professionally recorded stuff sounds great, but as soon as we hit to the studio where we've recorded things using the Kindle Fire, probably because it's the, the uh, Kindle's been a bit too far away, it hasn't recorded um, with enough volume. So we're going to adjust the volume of this clip in order to fix these problems. So what we need to do is click specifically on the audio track that goes along with this video. And we should be in our properties panel, it should automatically go there and we're going to add an effect. And the effect that we're going to add is called compressor. And a compressor kind of takes quiet sounds and makes them a bit louder, and it takes loud sounds and makes them a bit quieter, and it compresses the volume range. So we're going to click on the compressor. And I'll be honest with you, there's quite a lot of settings in here which uh, it can be a bit complex to explain fully what we're going to do. But the ones that you need to know about are the threshold, uh, which is how quiet should the sound be before the compressor kicks in and the output gain which is how much should we amplify the sound by. So I'm going to set the threshold pretty low, I'm going to say minus 40 decibels, minus 40 and I'm going to set the outward output gain to be plus 20 decibels. And if we play the sound now it should sound a little bit closer in volume. Hello and welcome to Shiplet News, I am Lucas and I'm Josh. Okay, it's not bad, we might be able to get it a bit louder still, so let's try um, output. I think the maximum you can have is 24, so let's try that. Hello and welcome to Shiplet News. I am Lucas and I'm Josh. Here are some head headlines for... And that's a, not, that's a lot closer uh, in volume. The one thing we can do is, of course, we could make the TV intro volume a bit quieter to balance it up as well. So if I click on the audio track for the TV intro, uh, and then it's just its general properties, it's got this thing called gain, and gain is what we mean by volume when we're talking technically. So we can just reduce that gain maybe to, say, minus 10 decibels. And let's see how it sounds now. Hello and welcome to Shiplet News. I'm okay, that's, if anything, I've gone a bit too far. Maybe minus 5. And it is a trial and error thing that you'll just have to practice with. Welcome to Shiplet News. I am Lucas and I'm Josh. And I think that's pretty good. So that's all you need to do. You must select the audio track that you're trying to change. You're going to go to Effects, add an effect, choose the compressor. And within your compressor options, you need to make sure you set your threshold really quite low, so negative 40, uh, and your output gain very high, plus 24 and see how that goes. If you still need a bit of a push in volume, you can go to the um, general or volume settings and change the gain for this channel. Um, so you could push it up one, two, three decibels and see what it sounds like. Or, like I say, you can bring down the volume of very loud clips so that it's kind of balanced overall.